and Derek Brunson, he is still for real and just every bit as a dangerous top 10 contender as you can find. Uh, my UFC debut was back in 2012, I believe, against Chris Lieben. Um, I took the fight on short notice. I believe it was uh, 10 days and walking to the cage. It was it was a crazy experience because I always watched the guy growing up and then having the opportunity to fight him. You know, everything was just kind of coming full circle. I went out there, took my time, uh, started the first round off, got a takedown. Derek's got the double unders and he's getting the takedown. Got a little bit of ground and pound, second round. Pretty much started the same. You know, I was in there looking to implement my wrestling, get my hands off, and ultimately get the finish. I didn't get the finish, but it was a good fight, and uh, that was the start of my UFC career. Derek Brunson! Uh, my fight against Ed Herman, uh, me and Ed Herman was going back and forth on social media, and we was actually slated to fight, I believe, about three months before. Um, got sick at the event, so I had to pull from the fight, and this was kind of, you know, the, the second time that we got together and, and fought. First round was just kind of filling it out, see what he brought to the table. Um, threw a feint at him, he bit on it real hard, threw a punch, and I was able to counter with a left hand. Um, stumbled him a little bit, then I followed up with punches and was able to get the finish. He's not going to finish it right now! Edge in trouble. Stop, stop. He's going to all over! Just like that! Wow. He faked the kick, he connected, and he finished! My fight against Ural Hall was, it was another fight with me and a guy. We had a lot of words before the fight. Uh, Uriah, it was a long time coming in that matchup. He had a lot of hype before that. Um, I believe he lost the fight and then he called me out. So the UFC made the matchup. I knew going into the fight that he liked to pull his head back and look to try to get away, get out of the way of punches. So I said, you know, I'm going to try to walk him to one side and then I'm going to meet him over there with a hook. And it happened just like that. Oh, Derek Brunson. I got him to move to the left side and I threw my rear hook. Caught him on the chin and followed up with some punches and Herb Dean stepped in and stopped the fight. Derek Brunson does it again! Yeah, it, it was great being Uriah Hall at that point. You know, he came off the ultimate fighter with that crazy kick. Um, the whole fan base was loving him. So to get that win over him over him at that time was very great for me. Um, my fight against Machida was pretty crazy being that, you know, it was in his hometown, Sao Paulo, and this was a Machida that was pretty much, you know, um, a little bit off his UFC title run, but he still had a lot in the tank. Early on in the fight, he came out just the same as, as usual, leading off with his strikes, able to connect. Our whole game plan was to stay patient. Don't get caught up in a firefight. Don't try to match him every time he, he strikes or hits you. It's to make sure we move our head and just wait and be patient and, you know, fit our stuff in. Machida is the guy who liked to blitz in and out, and I was able to slip one of his punches, catch, catch him with a rear hook, and um, I staggered him. He fell to the ground, then I followed him up with punches and got the finish there also. Derek Brunson has slayed the dragon here in Sao Paulo. This place is silent. Wow. Hearing the crowd go silent, you know, fighting him in his hometown, it was just, it was an amazing thing, you know. But um, the fans, you know, gave me a lot of respect. You know, I, I fought on the court with Kobe Covington, who was being pretty crazy after he fought Damian Maya. So the fans love me even more, even, even though I beat their hometown hero. My fight against Ian Heinish, uh, I was coming off a win previous before that I was on a little slide so it was about you know just putting that momentum together putting together consistent good fights um, taking my time actually setting up my strikes so this was another test in my new strategy going forward Ian Heinish came out in the first round with a nice head kick it was harder via the crowd the crowd was like ooh like you know they thought it was like landed significantly which it did it did touch me but at the same time i was it didn't like stagger me or anything like that it was just more of let me control and let me slow him down because um he was very overzealous at that point he thought he landed pretty good and was trying to you know look to finish oh there's good shots by Derek brunson very good shots going into the second round i was able to take over i started implementing my strikes um kicking them to the body um just i was leading all leading the dance when it comes to strikes able to fit in a few takedowns um, I got some ground and pound on the ground after a couple takedowns, and then third round I really picked it up again, really setting the um, fight apart. Beautiful takedown by Brunson. Beautiful. Derek Brunson. It was good to go through uh, a tough guy who had a lot of hype behind him at the moment um, to kind of overcome the adversity in the fight early and just kind of take my time, not get into brawl mode, but just kind of take my time and chip away back at the fight. I was very pleased with that. Ready to go for this three-round main event at middleweight. Edmund Shabazian's got a lot of believers. How about the fact that he's a minus 360 favorite? According to the oddsmakers here in Las Vegas, beware the dangerous underdog, the eighth-ranked 
Derek Brunson. Uh, the fight against Edmund Shabazian, um, going into the fight, the guy had a lot of hype behind him. So it was one of those fights that's like, okay, we got to be really patient, uh, take our time and make sure we're making good reads out there. The first round was pretty close. We struck back and forth. And then in the second round, I started implementing my grappling and was able to, you know, wear on him a little bit, slow him down. I took him down again, caught him with some ground and pound, and then I caught him with a nice elbow. Oh, one beautiful elbow. Big oh, shot. Oh, big. That, that would really hurt him. He's in trouble. And then fo followed up by some ground and pound. And it looked like the fight could have came to an end right then and there, but he was able to get on, get back to his feet, make it to the corner, come out in the third round. And then, you know, I, spelled, I smelled blood in the water. I knew it was at that moment I had to go after the finish and I came out with some feints, hit him with a left hand, got him against the cage, took him down and then, you know, proceeded with the ground and pound and Herb stepped in and stopped the fight. Well, and that's it. Herb quick on the stoppage there. Three no, baby. Stats with him in the baby. Let's go. That win against Shabazian kind of put me back in the thick of things, letting people know, you know, we have a guy here that's taking out these young, hungry guys who are everybody considering to be the next you know, contender or, or early champion and to show that, you know, that I'm still there and able to compete with these guys.